Hi there everybody, it's Teal Pixels and welcome back to Undertale. So we left it off just after going into Toro's house last time. Um, I was going to continue, but yeah, time time got in the way. <laughs> uh, what were we doing? Oh yeah, that's right. Going to bed. Oh, the butterscotch pie. Or the butterscotch cinnamon pie. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Thank you. That's so sweet. Hi, Toriel. Will you talk to me, goat mum? Oh, hello. Did you want to hear about the book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Sure, let's, let's listen to it. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails talk? Really? Slowly? Just kidding. Snails don't talk. Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. What is it? I'm gonna have to select it. I have to do something. Stay here. Go, Mom, don't leave me! You've already left me before. I'm not good at being independent. I need you. It's very eerie and quiet. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No! So I'm, I may not consider that my home right now. Because you're my goat mum. But please don't destroy it. <laughs> Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. No. I will not. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. I am a disobedient child. You want to leave so badly? Hm. Do it just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me that you are strong enough to survive. The music. Toriel blocks away. <laughs> I just need a moment. The music's too good. <laughs> you couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! Ah, uh, okay. Toriel looks for you. Should we spare? Oh, yeah. Ah! Toriel looks... Toriel looks for you. Oh, we did it. Oops. Oh, don't act aloof. What are you doing? Ow. Tutorial. Tutorial. <laughs> Tutorial prepares the magical attack. Attack or run away? Oh, there's only one hand now. Tutorial is acting. Um, what are you proving this way? I don't know. That I'm a determined little. Child. That's just totally what I was going to say. <laughs> Fight me or leave. Oops. Stop it. Toriel looks for you. Stop looking at me that way. Oh, she be avoiding. Go away. Hello. Can she actually hit me now? I'm trying my best to get hit here. No. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I'll take good care of you here. 
I know we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The rooms are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the rooms, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Oh, Go, Mum! Goodbye, my child. Goodbye, girl. Oh, don't look back, no! My heart! Oh. Totally not crying. <laughs> It is very quiet right now. Oh. Flowey! Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you are able to play by your own rules. And you spread the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what if you will do... Uh. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die. Until you tire out trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. It's so much more interesting. <laughs> Creepy flower. Hello. And I haven't got Coke Mom to protect me this time. <laughs> Undertale. Ooh, we got through the tutorial by Toby Fox. Heck yeah! Totally not eerie. Oh no. Oh. I'm being followed. I don't feel comfortable. human. <laughs> Your whoopee cushion in the hand tree. Wait a sec. Have you heard it before or something? You turn around before I said it too. Just like turn my camera off. <laughs> Hi, this is future me cutting in here just to say that I'm a big dumb. <laughs> Past me completely misinterpreted what was said here and that the character turned round before Sans actually told them to. So I got freaked out for no reason, which is always fun. <laughs> anyway, take it back past me. Okay. Weird. Whatever. You're here and you're a human, right? I'm Sans. Sans is Gunson. I'm actually supposed to watch for humans right now, but, you know. I don't really care about capturing anyone. Now my brother, the Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through the skate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, 
behind that conveniently shaped lamp. It, it really is a conveniently shaped lamp. <coughs> Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother! It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at the sun. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the Great Papyrus, will get to all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. So I will bathe in the shower and kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe the slump will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and bo- bo-, bo, bo boon dongle? <laughs> you get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. <laughs> Sans. Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. Same papyrus. <laughs> oh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. <laughs> oh. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. Oh, I'm in control again. You want to get going, I might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. I don't exactly call them hilarious, but you know. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Okay. Actually, hey. Hey to bother you, but can you do me a favour? I was thinking. My brother's kind of been down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Alright. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. <laughs> of all the shapes it could have been. Use the box. Ooh. Tough glove. Um, I will leave the toy knife behind. I want to keep those, and mm, I'll keep that there as well. Um, this is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Thank you, box lover. Oh, Snow Drake. Snow Drake flutters forth. Heckle? You tell the Snow Drake that they aren't funny. Is your flesh rotten as you? Smells like a wet pillow. You laugh at Snowdrake before it says anything funny. What are you laughing at? Ah! Talking isn't helping, it's just like real life! You make a bag of ice pump. Is that supposed to be funny? Yes. Okay, I was quite sick. <laughs> Should we laugh? You laugh at Snow Drake before it says anything. Oh, come on. Woo! Teen Comedian fights to keep a captive audience. My fave ice cereals. Frosted. Huh. I like Frosties. It smells like a wet pillow. You make a bad ice pump. Oh, see? Laughs! Dad was wrong! Who's your dad? And why does he mean to you? That was awful. <laughs> oh, fishing rod. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Yeah, why not? 
or that's attached to the end as the face of a weird looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. Oh, why not? You send the line back out. No! I want to call. It'll be very cool. <laughs> so, as I was saying about undying. <laughs> it's almost like you've seen a human papyrus. <laughs> Oh, hello. Sans, oh my god, is that a human? And it looks so familiar. <laughs> That's a rock. Uh, I think it looks familiar. Because it's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god. Is, is that a human? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Stands. I finally did it! Undyne will. I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular! 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 Ahem. <clears throat> Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then... I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue. Only if you dare. <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep my socket out for you. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observed a well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. You will be. You are in our hearts, Papyrus. <laughs> I just kept struts into view. Compliments. You have found this ice cap that has a great hat. Duh. Who doesn't know? Ooh, hello. It's snowing dandruff. Envious. Too bad. Ah. Uh. Should we ignore? You managed to tear your eyes away from ice cap's hat. It looks annoyed. What? What are you doing? I don't know, you know. Ice Cap is secretly checking if you're looking at his hat. No. You continue... You continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Fine! I don't care. You sound like a child. It's like, fine! <laughs> Ice Cap is desperate for attention. You won. Absolutely no moving. Okay. <gasps> Doggo! Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I make sure it never moves again. Doggo blocks the way. Pet? Doggo is too suspicious of your movements. Don't move an inch. Didn't move. Doggo can't seem to find anything. You pet doggo. <laughs> what? I've been pet! Pat, pat, pet, pat, pot, pet, pat, pet. Doggo has been pet. <laughs> it's like my dog whenever she gets pet. <laughs> she just freaks out. <laughs> she gets so excited and so happy. It's just, it's something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Same. I mean, not for me, for my dog. <laughs> Hello? Is anybody there? Someone's been smoking dog treats. Why would you smoke dog treats? I can't imagine that tastes very nice. Hey, there's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think blue stop signs. Um, I, 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 oh, okay. North ice, south ice, west ice. East, Snowden Town. Hey, a nice. <laughs> I thought we got away from the ice. Oh, it's a snowman. 
Hello, I am Snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you'll be so kind, traveller, please, take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. Bye bye, snowman. Oh gosh. Really though, they're human! Do I know that person? Do you not know? Who you know? <laughs> of course I know who I know! I wanted to know if you know! I know who I know as much as I know who I know. You know? I think I got that right. <laughs> oh, speak of the devil. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you'll find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Uh... <laughs> Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. <laughs> hold this, please. <laughs> okay, try now. Incredible! You slippery snail! You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. This is designed by my brother, Sans. You'll surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> is your brother okay? <laughs> he seems very excitable. Hey, oh, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. It seems like he's having a lot of fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. Hasn't won anything else since. He keeps calling it his battle body. Man. Isn't my brother cool? Oh. Love the relationship. I don't understand these aren't why these aren't selling. It's a perfect weather for something cold. Oh! A customer! Hello, would you like some ice cream? Na oh, ice ice cream. <laughs> It's a frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 gold. You know what, why not? Here you go. Have a super duper day. You got an ice cream. It was an ice cream. Um... Alright, I'm gonna try and get it into that hole. I have trouble with this. Ah! Even when you felt trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of the ball. You're awarded two gold. Thank you. Reimbursed, like, two gold from the 15 I just spent. I've been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? It's just five gold. Five? Did I say five gold? I meant 50. Really? How about 5,000 gold? 5,000 gold. That's my final offer. What? You don't have the money? Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. What, what, what is this all around you? Okay. You can get the snow for free, and then it's all profit. Just try and fry it somehow. <laughs> smell danger rating. Snow smell, snowman. Wait. Snow smell, snowman white rating. Can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell, puppy blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell. Humans. Green rating destroy at all costs. Oh. Hits. Hurts. Uh, should I go? Yeah, okay. It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow deck. Snow decahedron. Wow. <laughs> Broke the poor ball a bit there. <laughs> Human, I hope you're ready for... Actually, that raises the question, is this how they actually see the world? Or is it a bit more realistic for them? 
I'm gonna have to try to save that now. <laughs> Sans! Where's the puzzle? It's right there! On the ground! Trust me, there's no way that they can get past this one. Um, Monster Kids Word Search. Can we actually see if we can find any of these? Sans! That didn't do anything! Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that! In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really? Dude, that easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human. Solve this dispute. Dispute. Let's go Jumble. I spent a fair amount of time on that. Ha! Oh yes! Humans must be very intelligent. Did they also find Junior Jumble so difficult? <laughs> Hi, Sans. Thanks for saying Junior Jumble just to appease my brother. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. <laughs> oh, I love him! To be fair, I tried to do that as well. It never seems to work. Knowing the mouse might one day try and find... <laughs> Find a way to heal the spaghetti. If it was with determination. <laughs> oh. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy the spaghetti. Little do you know, the spaghetti is a trap. The sign to entice you. You'll be so busy eating that you won't realise that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. <laughs> Papyrus. <laughs> it's a place of fro frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. Of all the settings... Wait, what? All the sp settings say spaghetti. Uh, cool. <gasps> the squeaks! Warning. Dog marriage. <laughs> what? Oh. So we got a red cross. So it'll be here. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. Yay, we did it. Uh oh. What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. Hmm. Here's that weird smell. And wait, so you want to eliminate? Eliminate you! Oh no. Doggy assaults you. Oh, it's the dog marriage! <laughs> dog Amy or Dog Aressa. Roll around? You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Don't touch my hot dog. He needs me. <laughs> the dogs may want to re-smell you. We sniff? The dogs sniff you again. After all in the dirt, you smell alright. What? It smells like a are you actually a little puppy? Uh ah. Uh. The dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. Pet? You pet dog Amy. Wow, pet by another pup. Well, don't leave me out. Uh. Oh. The dogs think that you might be a lost puppy. Pet? You pet dog Arissa. What about me? A dog that pets dogs. Amazing! Oh my god, have we cracked the code? <gasps> the dog's minds have been expanded. <laughs> the little eyes! Dogs can pet other dogs? A new world has been opened for us. Thanks, weird puppy. I'm a weird puppy. <laughs> hmm? Turn every X into a zero, then press the switch. Ooh. 
There's papyrus all right there. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? What'd you tell papyrus about spaghetti? I ate it? Really? Wowie, no one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then, fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> nah. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> oh, hi. My brother started a sock collection recently. How stunning. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> Human. Hmm. How do I say this? It would take a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is, worry not, human. I, the great papyrus, will solve this conundrum. We can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. You don't know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, he did try. I might talk to him again before doing this. So, you want a hint, huh? Well, I've been looking at the puzzle, and I think the solution is to turn all the X's into zero. Really? You should try that. Ask again for more great hints. That was a fantastic hint. Thank you, Papyrus. Um... Oh, okay, okay, we've done it. Wow, you solved it! My advice helped! It really helped you! Incredible! I'm impressed! You must care about puzzles like I do! Well, I'm sure you'd love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. <laughs> He's so cute. Hi, Sans. Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help, which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Same. Oh. Hey, it's a human. You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You see these tiles? Once I throw the switch, they'll begin to change colour. Each colour has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They'll make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but you smell like oranges. The piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will zap you. Pepper tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. <laughs> Pebble and blue are okay. Finally. Pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? Of course I do. Great! Then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull the switch, it'll make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. Nah. <laughs> Get ready. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh no, the poor guy. <laughs> Actually, that's spaghetti from earlier. It wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps up, next year he'll even be able to make something edible. So much faith in him. The machine isn't working. Obviously. Is that dog okay? This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. Aware of dog. Please pet dog. On the floor inside is a box of pomeraisins. Wait, what? Pomeraisins. Pomeraisins, not pomeraisins. Knowing the dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. Oh, hello. 
That dog considers itself a narcissist, but it does never know what to create. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. I am that dog. I never know what to create myself. My head is just empty. <laughs> Gosh, did we actually get this first try? I don't think I've ever done that first try. <laughs> oh, there's no. Hi, Sans. What's up? I don't know. What's up with you? Give Trop confront you. Teens decorated as a prank. Oh. Undecorate? You move to child with photograph of Snow Drake and his parents. That's a little better. I'm trying to help you, don't attack me! the small confused dog. That's a little better. Oh gosh. You and me for a box of non-dog related reasons. My weight has been lifted. Guy truck problems have been taken away. Nice. There's two of you? Are you lost? Are you? It's a door. Squeaks. No. Okay. Is this no puff? Anis, this is no puff. What a tiny dog house. <laughs> this, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Snow puff. Is this really a snow puff? Behold! A snow puff. Huh? There's firstly gold inside this. What is this? It's a snow puff. <laughs> the snow puff has a tail! And a head! You doggo! Big cute doggo. I love big dogs. They're so cute. It's the greater dog! Um... Play? Greater dog is not decisive enough to play with. Oh. Ah! I guess what they mean, barks are worse than you bite. Uh, pets? Great dog is too far away to pet. You just pet the air. Ah! Um, Becca? You called a greater dog. It bounced towards you, flecking slobber into your face. Great dog is seeking affection. Let's pet. Great dog curls up in your lap and says, Where are you? Oh my gosh, I get so comfortable, it falls asleep. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. I'm gonna cry. I love dogs. I'm obsessed. <laughs> Grace dog is pass passing the ground with its paws. Oh! Let's play. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Grace dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now the dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Oh! But you still bark. Why? Greater dog wants some TLC. Pets? As you pet the dog, it sinks his entire weight into you. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough. 
Have I actually gotten slower? Pet capacity is 40%. Test. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. Oh my gosh! Greet the dog is contented. I'm contented too. Oh, look at you! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this game. Oh. Hello. Human! This is your final, most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly tra tra terror. Terror. There's a dog! When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire. Spikes will split. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice, each pass will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it! What would the dog do? Violently lick? Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What's hold up? Um, I'm about to activate it now! Papyrus? That uh, doesn't look very active. Well, this challenge, it seems, maybe, too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I'm a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Oh, Papyrus. Whew. What are you looking at? This was another device of victory for Papyrus. Yeah. Heh. Heh? Friend? I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I'd make sure I understand blue attacks. Try my best. Oh, snowed in. Because it's snowed in. Get it? <laughs> the site is such a friendly town, fills you with determination. Well, we're going to find out what Paris does in the next episode. I've already recorded it for a little bit longer than what I wanted to, but it's whatever. I love this game. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you're having a good day. If not, I hope it gets better for you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.